Good afternoon, people. This is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees. It is March the 14th. This is hive number 221. It's finally warmed up enough to get out of here. It's about 56 degrees. The sun is shining. The wind is blowing. But we're okay. We're going to try it out. Those other, uh, those queen cells that we chopped up and put into other places, we're going to wait. It's been been cold since I did that. It got cold that day as soon as we finished it. And uh, we're not going to go in there for about, a, by about another four or five days and we'll check them out and see what they're doing. But right now we're going to go into 221 Nursery. 221 Nursery. Okay. We hadn't been in here for a little while. But it's been, uh, uh, been a little over a month since we've been in here. 314, huh? Maybe about six weeks. But anyway, see how they're doing. But we're having some real cold weather now from coming out from the north. We're getting some northwest winds. And northwest winds are cold. To their feeder, nothing on it. They still got some sugar. Okay, they got pollen here. No bugs. Another thing, people. I've had somebody tell me that they couldn't hear me, and I've only heard that from one person. This here's got some don't look good stuff in it. But y'all need to learn about that too. So we'll, we'll show you when we get to it. This one here is a frame. It's got a little wax moth damage in the middle of it, so it'll be going to the freezer. And this is what happens when you don't check, check your bees and they start getting having more problems and more problems. Okay, all that, see if you can see it. You know I'm here to teach y'all stuff too, right? I don't know if I can get it. This right here is all wax moth damage. And it'll go in the freezer. And any of them that's got these little webs or the holes here that look like it's got little webs in it, all that will be going into the freezer. And we might be putting these girls in a smaller box. And that's okay, but like I say, you need to learn it all. This one here has some brood, some pollen, some wax moth damage. Actually, it's got a lot of wax moth damage. With the weather being the way it is, people, it's hard to check all these hives. This one here's got some wax moth damage, dead brood. This one, same thing. So you see, it doesn't just happen to me. And it doesn't just happen to you, 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 it happens to all of us. But this is wax moth damage, it's got pollen on it and stuff. But the wax moths hadn't destroyed it yet. The bees can straighten all that up.
This one here's got wax moth damage, some bees. Now the wax moths might be gone by now, I don't know. This one here's got something that's just getting started. It's got these little, in the cells, it looks like the cells are covered with um, webbing. And that's where they got the eggs and the eggs will hatch it, tear up your frames. Okay, now. Got some people that tell me, well, you just hose those down with a water hose and let them dry out and they'll be fine. And they, they may be right. And that's what I might be going to do with these. But normally when I've got room in the freezers, I, um, I'll put them in the freezers. But that's that box. Now, we'll see what's down here. Get y'all a little bit closer. I know we won't. There you go. But with this cold weather we're having now, some people's gonna say, you know, I told you about not to, not to, uh, checkerboard like that. If you don't take chances, you won't, you won't, you won't, you won't your beehive won't survive. Put it that way. If you don't take chances, they're going to swarm. You're not going to have, not going to be able to build more. This one here has got some honey and some nectar. Got to be going in the freezer. This one has the same thing. And that happens when your hive gets weak. And you can notice these are weak. And if I'd have left them for another couple of days, There's been wax miles all over the place. They haven't built, built any co co cocoons yet, but this one here has some honey. And what I'm going to do is um, probably put a nuke box here, put some good frames in it. And maybe the bees that this is home to will come back. This one here has some wax moths too, but they're just the eggs. They haven't hatched yet. Remember I tell y'all don't put more room in it you got bees, and this one here's got honey. honey on that side. It's good honey. It can be capped. I mean, it's capped, so it could be extracted. But I'm going to not do that. I'm going to just put it in the freezer. But when you leave them too much room and you don't check it, queen goes out, don't come back. This thing got a little wax moth damage, a little honey. You see, we all mess up. This one here's got some wax moth damage. It's got some honey. This one over here has a paper on it. And that's about it. Now, 
I should leave these out here and let them the bees clean them up but I don't want to do that because I'm going to need them so what we're going to do is just go and put a nuke box down here let me find the bottom 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 Well, I don't see a bottom. So, what else we could do is take this, this box off of here, put this frame back in here, put that there. this up off the bottom put it there see there's a lot of dead bees no beetles we're going to take this to the to the to the, to the trash pile scraped off in the trash pile and we're gonna put this one back down there's a nuke box right here we'll put right there there we go Okay, y'all can see what we're doing now. Let's see what we got here that doesn't have much wax balls in it. We're gonna put that one in there. weather we had has done got rid of them anyway. We're going to put those there. And this one. And the top. We don't have a drop over here with us, so we're going to just put this down. Okay, and we're going to take all these, take them around to the freezer, shake them off, and the ones that are in there should be coming back to here. And we will re re rename them. So that's that, people. It's supposed to be down to 20s tonight and warm up tomorrow into 60s. So we can probably do a little bit more tomorrow as long as the wind's not blowing so hard. But y'all have a marvelous day. Give us a thumbs up. 
and we'll be checking those little nukes, starter nukes, in a few days. But clean hatch, I don't want to mess, you know, you don't want to mess with a newborn too much. But y'all take care of yourselves. And we're going now. Bye.